Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get to today's vlog, I just wanted to go ahead and show today's Us Born book. It is the Animal Stories for, for Bedtime. Again, these books are just amazing for young children and well, actually they go from infants all the way up to high school kids. And they're the, and they're great for homeschool. They're great for teachers. They're just great books in general. This one, let me open it up. It has all these different stories in it. It is a really neat book. Look at these fantastic pictures. If you're interested in buying this book, I'll have the description in the I'll have the uh, link in the description, and you go check it out. Hi guys, welcome to Vlogtober. Since it's October, I decided that I wanted to try to do Vlogtober. And I haven't really done any Halloweenish, fallish stuff yet. So today I decided to make James a spooky spider sandwich. And also we're going to do like a footprint craft for a little ghost. So stick along and see all the fun. Okay, first for James's lunch, um, to make the spider sandwich, all you're going to need is a core sheer bread. And I have this little cookie cutter that I'm going to put right here and cut out the spider with. Um, it, this one has ridges in it. My one that didn't have ridges in it, one was too small and one was too big. So I don't think it's going to make a big deal. Also, you're going to need some pretzels. Like stick pretzels, some chocolate chips, and your favorite peanut butter and jelly. So first all I'm going to do is make the spider part of the body. Okay, so now I have the bread cut out into little circles. And now I'm going to go and put the peanut butter and jelly on. Okay, so now I had the peanut butter and jelly on the sandwich, and I was going to put them together like this. And now I'm going to grab these pretzels, and I'm going to make legs out of them. Now I just kind of made this silly little design, and there might be a better way to do this, but I just think it's easy enough just to I put it on like way. this. You can the kind of move it around. He's in the legs. Like the way. Yeah, those are the legs. Wait, it looks. Hold on, baby. Spiders only have eight legs. See, these are a little bit longer than the other ones. But it doesn't really matter. Eight it's for legs. kids. They think it's cute. I put them on the bread. I put them on the bread. Now I'm going to grab the milk chocolate chips and I'm going to make them eyes. All right, here is the spider. I think it came out pretty cute. I think maybe you can maybe like melt down some eyes for it if you wanted to go to that. Okay, baby, hold on one second. I'm going to bring you up here and let you see your spider. You ready? What do you think of your spider? That's your lunch. Yeah. You think it's cute? Does it look yummy? Are you gonna add more legs to it? Or are you gonna poke it? Maybe I'll put these on. You love your peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, don't you? Yeah. All right, let's go have lunch. Maybe I'll put the princess on them. Okay, let's add some legs. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Does he have a name? Yeah. What's your spider's name? Snake. What? Snake. Okay. 
All right, let's go eat him. Okay, next I'm going to make my Halloween craft. I I have my paints and my puffy 3D paint. I think I'm going to use that to write some stuff on it. Not sure yet. I haven't made this yet, so <laughs> I just think it's um, the picture I saw of it's pretty cute. But first off, I'm going to start off painting the canvas all black. All right, I painted the canvas. I did two coats on it because the first time I did it, it wasn't very um, dark. And it actually was less streaky. My cat, oh, my cat wants to say hi and sneeze on the camera, apparently. Um, it was less blotchy earlier, but James... <laughs> sorry about that. My cat's wanting attention. Um, it was, but my son, James, got a little paint on it, but it's okay. I think it'll still turn out pretty cute. Okay, so our next step is actually painting your child's feet. I put James in his high chair because he likes to run off, if not. So, I'm going to put some, it's easy if I just put some paint on a plate. And Paint. You are gonna paint. I'm gonna paint your feet, and you can use like actually smaller one of these. That just my smaller ones are either lost or maybe too big. Or they're it's I just dirty. Paint my paint. Yeah, we're gonna paint your feet. <laughs> that tickle. Yeah. Make sure to get lots of paint on it because if you don't, it doesn't necessarily work on the canvas. And he has a pretty good arch, so you're not really, it's not going to get on there completely. I'm going to get him all out. Okay, and then this is like a one time thing here, so you got to. Hopefully get it on the first try. And you want to kind of leave some room because I'm going to be riding at the bottom of it. Get it. Alright, let's hope we get it right, James. Ready? Yeah. Once I put it on there, you can't move. Right. Oh, you can't move. I did it. You did it. I screwed my well, feet up. It's not very dark, but I, you can go back over it. and. But you're going to do this one, and then you're going to, you can do it not the other foot right here. Actually, I'll do, go ahead and do that. I'm going to put the mud on now. That's what I'm saying. Like, Just put like as much paint <laughs> on this foot as you can. Or her foot. <laughs> here it goes. Yeah. Is that tickle, buddy? Again, I'm going to have to go through there and add a little more paint to it, but that's the next step. Okay, you can cut it. Okay, so here is the canvas. I went ahead and painted in the feet. One part I had to go over a few times because it, had, it wasn't as dark as the rest. But now I'm going to go back and, or I'm going to go and write in the thing. Here is my finished product. It didn't come out n anywhere nearly as perfect as I wanted it to. Uh, <laughs> um, I think it would have worked better if I had like paint markers or some stickers or something like that. Um, I was going to use this puffy paint and go like around the letters but then I was like I don't want to mess it up more make it look more <laughs> messy but, I mean it's for a kids craft so I thought it it may have turned out cute I guess I added the googly eyes oh, I don't know it's cute 
I hope you all think so too. Okay, so this is the end of this blog. I hope that you enjoyed the spooky little spiders and ghost, the little ghost um, craft. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell so you'll never miss one of our videos. Until next time, bye. Thank you.